So we all know that if you're growing plants and food naturally, having lots of soil life is a really good thing. But what do you do if you don't have optimal levels of life in your soil? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk you through three ways that you can boost soil bacteria to help you grow better crops. Now we all know that having a big soil biomass is absolutely crucial if you're growing things naturally. But what do you do if you have low numbers to start with? Well, simply put, you need to increase them. But how you do this is really, really important. Today we're going to talk about bacteria, which is one of the simple organisms in the soil. It's actually a single-celled microorganism often overlooked because people are more fascinated with fungi. But bacteria, incredibly important, and what they make, what they lack in terms of size, they make up for in terms of numbers. Now, soil bacteria can also multiply incredibly quickly. And this is why they are particularly useful and why they shouldn't be forgotten when considering soil life and looking to build things up. Again, people often get carried away with fungi, but bacteria have an incredibly useful tool. And it's this rapid turnaround, this rapid multiplication process that's of key benefit. It means that they're able to cycle and produce lots of nutrients very quickly in and around the plant roots. But if you have inadequate numbers of soil bacteria to begin with, what things can you do to drive those numbers up? Well, here is my top three list. Number one is check that the soil conditions are good enough. Now, what I mean by checking the soil conditions is looking at the air in the soil. And you should be aerating the soil occasionally, or at the very least, tining it, especially if you're running a no-dig system, which means that you can't turn the soil over periodically. You'll also want to check that there is adequate moisture in the soil and make sure that the soil is well fed with the addition of really good quality organic matter. Not only will applying a well-made organic compost add some more bacteria of the right type if it's made correctly, but it will feed the existing microbes too and help maintain porosity and air in the soil too and regulate those soil moisture levels which are key in driving microbial activity. Like in Wayne's World, if you kind of apply these things, if you put it on, then they will come. That's the bacteria that is not the crowds. Uh, I'll link to a video I made on the importance of the quality of organic matter below. Now next up, number two, is adding bacterial products. Now if the conditions are right to receive and breed bacteria, then you could try adding some different strains of key species, like nitrogen fixing bacteria, which I recently made a video on doing a, sh a short trial that I ran for particular ones to see if they would have an effect on what was growing. So there are different strains available on the marketplace that you could try adding other functional bacteria, but they should really be adapted or native to the climate that they're going to be applied in. Uh, that's key really for them to deliver any short, medium and long-term benefit. They have to be adapted so that they thrive and not just survive. One of those considerations might include the soil pH, for which it's worth considering most bacteria in the soil prefer a higher pH or a more alkaline soil. So it may be also that you should be mindful of adding too much of one particular strain too. Remember, we're aiming for the most diverse range of species that we can get in order to support the rotation of plants and food that we want to rotate throughout the garden. So you may also want to consider the application or treatment with a biologically um, active amendment too. Uh, this will help boost the breadth 
of species as well as the activity levels as well. So a compost tea could be worth investigation or an extract. Um, I'll leave a link to a video that I made which explains the concepts of compost tea below. My third and final tip for boosting soil bacteria is to feed the bacteria directly. And now what I mean by this is the correct types of food that nourish and stimulate them to reproduce and grow in numbers. So foods made of simple sugars that contain simple carbon compounds, they are readily digestible and accessible to these simple bacteria. They love it and it gives them the fuel that they need to grow quickly and do their thing. Molasses and sugar-based products are a great starting point and the great thing about these is you can also get them in organic formats too, often in shop supermarket aisles. There are organic versions that you can use, not just garden centre products. Um, very simple to use, it's mixed with water and applied to the soil through a watering can or backpack sprayer. Fish hydrolysate and some seaweed types are also useful for feeding the different types of bacteria and other organisms as well. So it could be a good idea to use a variety of food types to boost a variety of species within a particular population. But be mindful, if you're only giving the odd hit, the odd bit of food throughout the season, it's likely that you'll get flushes of bacteria as the population is boosted and then it dies off again as the food runs out. So there we go, that is my top three tips. Number one is checking that the soil conditions are good. Number two is adding microbial product. And number three is feeding the organisms directly. I hope that you found this video useful. If you do have something to say about it, leave it in the comment below and please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, as always, when you're making improvements or changes within your soil, it's a really good idea to quantify the benefits or not that those changes bring. So I really do recommend testing your soil before you start testing out different products. And I'll leave a link to another video I made on how to sample your soil for soil life so that you can get a sample ready to send off to a laboratory. But for now though, that wraps it up. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. And until the next video, I will see you soon.